hi again <coughs> i'm making an update the next day i noticed that i'm actually eating a lot less calories than i need so i'm increasing uh, the food i'm eating now i just ordered <coughs> fruit and vegetables delivered on my door each week so that will make it easier to get enough uh, food available at all times uh, it's all organic, ordered it from a company called Solgai. Um, so I'm looking forward to that and I'll be buying in general more food, eating more food. I just uh, calculated um, on the internet that I need to eat 2700 calories per day because my goal is to uh, get up gain a half a kilo uh, of muscles each week um, I don't know if that's possible but even just to maintain my weight um, I need 2200 calories and I've probably been eating a lot less uh, I've gone down 3 kilos from 59 to 56 which is, was, is too little even 59 is too little um, so that was after I changed to a raw vegan diet uh, I noticed I got more energy but of course I've been burning belly fat um, so at least I have a good starting point for building my body now um, but of course I would like to have a little bit more energy stored on my body. Um, so I noticed lately that my energy has started to drop um, even though I've been eating the same as I've been doing for the last couple of months on a raw vegan diet. So I thought I have to eat more. And uh, I've been eating just, yeah, one banana per smoothie. I'm now going to increase that to three bananas per smoothie. And I will increase the protein powder. And um, in general eat much more. Uh, I will calculate how much I'm eating. So now I'm going to make a smoothie and I can show you how I'm making it. protein powder from Marcus. Normally I've had two scoops per smoothie. And I'm increasing it. This is one scoop, it's not very much. I think at least I'll take three scoops. <coughs> it says it has 245 calories <coughs> for four tablespoons. I think what I, yeah, I'm not sure how much uh, I took right now. With if it's if one scoop is <coughs> one tablespoon, maybe it is. Let's say this is 200 calories I put there, and three bananas. That's three <coughs> 300 calories, so that's 500 calories. One avocado, one carrot. I'm going to check how many calories that are. I'm also adding sunflower sprouts. Then I'll add some water. I'll add that one slice of <coughs> pineapple as well. I'm not sure if I used the grid formula. I don't think I did. So I'll add one tablespoon. These are mainly herbs. I don't know if you can read it there. Um, yeah, lots of yeah, lots of herbs, wheatgrass, um, nettle leaf, 
autographs and also things. Um, probably not many carriers. I decided to also add one tablespoon of Udo's Choice oil that has actually 135 calories and just one, sorry for the bad picture here. Well, um, 135 calories and I'm going to add this in each smoothie. So that's actually 400 calories just on three tablespoons of Udo's Choice. I think I'm just gonna add it directly to, yeah, use uh, my consideration for the amount there. Okay, then we're ready to turn it on. I'll zoom in a little bit. We'll see if I've added enough water or if I need to add more water. We'll soon find out. Well, when the smoothie is ready, it actually tastes uh, really great. The consistency is good. Um, not too thick and not too thin. So, that's probably... I believe this is more than 800 calories uh, in the blender now. So that will be my breakfast and also just had a juice with a apple and orange and some celery and cucumber. That was probably yeah, maybe 200 calories. So after breakfast I will have consumed 1000 calories which is a nice breakfast. So I also update you when I have calculated um, what I have been eating, how many calories I have been eating and I will tell you what I will be planning to eat on a daily basis to reach 2700 calories per day so I'll see you in a bit well, now I got back from <coughs> checking how, <coughs> sorry, how many calories I've been eating um, and it turns out I've been eating around 2000 calories per day which is 200 less than uh, the goal of 2200 is what I've been needing just to maintain my weight. So that means that uh, on a weekly basis I've been lacking 1400 calories per week. And that has been compensated by burning stored fat on my body. And one gram of stored fat gives me seven calories so 1400 calories has required burning 200 grams of stored fat each week and that corresponds with my losing about one kilo of in body weight per month <coughs> which is about 250 grams that I have lost each week so I've been probably eating just a little bit less <coughs> than 2000 calories on average per day and now I've started to exercise more uh, I want to build more muscles um, doing strength exercises and more stamina exercises walking and I'm starting a little bit to jogging on this very short distances jogging right now but I will be increasing the, the length of that so I need more calories than 2200 I want to gain more weight so I, I will, um, my new goal now is to eat 2700 calories per week that will make it possible to gain actually 500 grams per week that's quite a lot. I don't know if that's possible to gain that much uh, in muscle. <laughs> Perhaps not. So um, I might have to adjust the calorie intake a little bit depending on how, how much muscles I'm able to build. 
I want to build not only muscles, muscles, I also want to build up more body fat also, but uh, muscle is um, number one priority. So and it will also be interesting to see how the body will react, how easy it will be to eat 700 calories more per day. I think it will be pretty easy. Uh, actually I don't need to eat that many bananas as I thought. Actually in the new meal plan uh, it's only 5 bananas per day. I was thinking maybe I need to eat 10 or, or more per day but uh, um, 5 bananas I will eat well, I put 3 bananas in the breakfast smoothie and uh, <coughs> 4 carrots. I use one carrot in each smoothie and also one in the juice. Um, five bananas is 500 calories. Four carrots is 180 calories. And then I'm increasing the avocados from one per day to two avocados per day. And that has a lot of calories. It's uh, 230 in each avocado. So that's almost 500 just in two avocados. And uh, nuts, cashews, I've been eating perhaps 75 grams per day, which gave me 400 calories. Because I'm eating two avocados now, I'm planning to eat a little bit less nuts, maybe just 50 grams, which gives me uh, 270 calories. And I'm planning to also continue eating crackers with peanut butter. That's not very much calories in my calculation, just around 150 calories in a serving. I'll continue with that, no increase there. Protein powder, I'm increasing from 6 of those small spoons to 9, from 375 to 562 calories per day. One apple, no change there. Other fruit, one other fruit, no change there, around 100 uh, calories. And Udo's choice, I'm planning to go from one, and often I've skipped uh, Udo's choice altogether, often I've forgotten about it. So I'm planning to have that in each smoothie, around one tablespoon in each smoothie. That will give me 400 calories. So there's quite a lot of calories from fat here. Avocados, cashews and Udo's choice oil. If I add that up, that's around 1,000, a little more than 1,000 calories from fat. Around 500 calories from proteins and uh, around 1200 calories from carbohydrates so that's yeah 40 percent from carbohydrates 40 percent from fat and 20 percent from protein so I think that's a good mix. Um, yeah, so it will be interesting to see how this will affect my weight and how it affects my strength and my stamina and my energy level. Uh, I'm pretty sure this will improve uh, all those areas. So, and also today I will be doing some strength exercise it will be interesting to see how many more push-ups I'm able to do, how many more biceps curls. Uh, I'll make a video about strength exercise in a future video. But I think um, that's probably it for this video now. I'll show you how I make the juice in a future video. And um, I don't know what else is there to say about 
my diet. Well, I I find it pretty easy to transition from a normal diet to raw food. I don't crave any food. Um, but of course, I, this is not my first transition into raw vegan. I've tried it a couple of times before and I ate quite a lot of raw vegan food before also, so it's not a 100% big change in my diet. It's been a gradual change, so that's perhaps why it's, I feel it's been easy. So, yeah. That's it for now. Thank you for watching. I hope you got some valuable insight and information from this video. Um, maybe you got inspired to try eating more smoothies and eating more raw vegan. I hope so. And uh, looking forward to make more videos. I hope, to, hope you will watch in the future also. So thank you for watching and have a nice day.